This is going to be the saga of my DR chipper shredder. And before I start, uh, I vibrate, so sorry this is a little shaky. I had something called the Miller Fisher variant of Guillain Barre uh, a couple of decades ago. So I still vibrate from that. So anyway, as you can see, I had 26.4 hours on this thing because I put this on just about, I'm pretty sure, right when I first started. And I bought it about a month and a half shy of two years, so it's still under the regular warranty. So I was doing some sticker bushes and small limbs and rotten limbs, and all of a sudden it went clunk and stopped working. So I've taken it apart. This is just free floating. And so you can see the fan is all eaten up several places. And oh look, there's a nut. That's attached to the end of the crankshaft. Hmm, it's not very good. The, um, let me flip this over so you can see it. So that's the other end of the crankshaft, which that's what the Big Bang was when it quit working. Uh, that broke off of the crankshaft over here. So you can see that broke off. And I don't really know what happened. This magneto or whatever you want to call it is sitting over here. This is the other part of it that banged out. That took out this post, this post up here, and this post over here. So the engine's for parts only now at this point because I'm going to need a new crankshaft and this whole body is one unit. It might be possible to weld these parts back on, but I don't know how successful you would be or if it would be worth it. So I called up DR, talked to Scott, I think the guy's name was, I'll correct it if that's wrong, and I sent him a couple of pictures uh, of some of the broken parts, and they said, that we'll send you a new motor. So they sent me the new motor. I just wanted to show you what's broken, what broke on it, and the other half of this will be how to swap the motors out. Okay, thanks a lot. So this is the rest of the disassembly for the chipper shredder. I took all the bolts out, took this off. You've got to gain access to this. And I already went ahead and took all the bolts. Some of these are welded on. As you can see over here, they're welded on. Some of them are nuts and bolts, so it depends. The only one hard to get to is there's one right on the bottom, but you can use an extension to to do that. So anyway, you take all these off, take that off, leave them sitting there. Now, I had, you got to take this out and it is in there. So I used the impact wrench, my Porter cable, and I was able to loosen it up, but it wouldn't take it out all the way. So I had to go get my El Cheapo Harbor Freight impact wrench to finish taking that all the way. So all you do is you, you loosen this up, and then take this off, which, you know, I'm doing one-handed obviously, which I'm getting pretty good because I've done it a couple of times. Get that out of the way. Then you ha have this, this bolt out all the way. And it tells you you're supposed to use a special tool that looks like this, which is just that basically the same bolt with an extension. So what it does, um, it grabs on, onto this, but then pushes it out somehow or another. But anyway, that didn't, I didn't need it. So you just take that bolt out, and it's, it has a keyway on it. So let me pull this out. And it just slides off, which was fairly easy to do. Put it down. There's the keyway right there. So don't lose that. I already took it out. So when you put it back together, make sure you put that in there. Because if you don't, you're really going to have a hard time. Then you've got four other bolts. I already took them out. 
So you just take those out. And that's what actually holds the motor on. And that's pretty much it. Sorry about that. I didn't hurt myself. These come out. Then down in here you've got there's like a mounting plate or whatever. This thing that comes out. And then just slide it back. It's not, uh, I was amazed. I first thought it would be bolted to the the frame somehow or another, but it's not. It just slides off. So you just take it off. Let me see if I can do all of this at the same time. So you just lift it out, and that's it. Put it down. Oh, my back. No, I'm just kidding. So and you're just left with this plate. I'd clean it off, and then I'll just stick the new motor on it and do everything in reverse. Uh, the only thing, when you're taking a, the thing apart, make sure you take these two off that have the, the rubber thing on it, and there's one hidden down here. But uh, other than that, you know, it probably took me less than an hour to, to take it apart, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to put it back together fairly quickly also. Okay, other than that, Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.